Hi guys, it's Weedit, and I have been working on a project, and I think I've done, um, I think 372 versions of it, and I'm still not happy. This is the basic concept, okay? A couple things that are wrong with this one is that I'm not happy that I can see the outline of the tissue paper that I printed the tree on and that I stamped the tree on and that I stamped the quote printing uh, painting is not wow painting is just another way of keeping a diary by Picasso and the other thing brilliantly I don't know what I was thinking when I did this the darker color is in back and the lighter color in front and that's reversed um, as we look at distant objects they become a more faded in color because of all the particles in the air. So I like this and I am going to keep this one for me but I kind of want to fix it and when I'm working with a monochromatic theme in mixed media I tend to go ahead and get uh, several things in that one color scheme. So I have some acrylic paint in quinacridone blue violet I have ultramarine violet pigment stick and stays on in royal purple. These all seem to go together. I have a print of the quote. It's a stamp by Art Neko. And I have that <laughs> from another attempt where I didn't like it again. I think I've done this 300 and 72 times, is that right? Uh, I also have a little bit of the medium that I used that I salvaged. In other words, I took the substrate and melted all the wax off of it and it had a little bit of this ultramarine violet tint to it. So I have some of that as well. The stamps that I'm using, uh, this willow tree, which when stamped the willow tree will be bending this way so I want to keep that in mind and then I have the quote from Picasso so what I want to do now is take some of my acrylic paint and I want to paint the three layers and I'll start with my darkest and it will take a couple couple different layers of this. Because it's a glazing color and transparent. So I will do several cut several layers to get some of that depth in. And I'm going to dry that very quickly. And I'm just working on deli paper right here. That's what I'm painting on. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see. So I'm just squirting a little bit more out so I can do another quick layer. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to squirt some more out, but this time I'm going to add some white. Just mix it in and I can get my grubby paws. kind of mix that up a little bit so I can see if I've got it as dark as I want it. Um, 
legs. Yeah. I will probably go with that. Since I've got a little bit of a darker color on my brush, so I'm just going to come up a little bit. I'm okay if it's streaky. Whoops. Okay, so I think that's fairly good. Now, we're going to add a little bit more white. Not add any more purple or violet, sorry. Mix that up. And I'm not sure if that's going to be. Yeah, that should be light enough. I just, I really want three different tints of the same color. Maybe I want a little more white. I think I want a little more white. So I'm actually going to put it right there. Again, streaky is fine. There. There. Now I have three different colors. Oh, not three different colors, I'm sorry. Three different tints of the same color. I'm only throwing things. And I need to clean this mess up and let that dry. And I haven't fully decided exactly how I'm going to go about making this particular version. My question, or, or what I'm struggling with, is where, how am I going to get the tree in there? Do I want to stamp it on? Do I not want to stamp it? I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not sure. That's, that's the one thing I'm just not sure about at this point. So, now normally I would use that lovely paint somewhere else, but I don't have my uh, mop-up handy. I don't have anything to mop up handy right now. I've been going around kind of working in the studio, trying to get different things done, and I'm sort of discombobulated as a result. Okay. So there are my colors. I also have, and you can see it right here, that is um, encaustic medium that is very lightly tinted with <laughs> um, this ultramarine violet when I reclaimed a substrate by melting the wax off of it. Then I turned around and ruined the substrate, so I'm not sure how much good that did. Let me dry these. For the time being, I will set these over to the side. I'm, oops, I'm going to tear my mountains uh, shortly, but I do want to make sure that they're dry. And I just taped a piece of deli paper down. Okay, I'm going to try drying it a little bit more. I don't think they're good.
easier to manage if I go ahead and cut them apart. Okay, and I'm working on a 6x6 six six hardboard that I've coated with encaustic medium and not very good right there and there, but I'm not terribly worried about that. Let's see. My tree bends this way, so, hmm, okay, yeah. Now to tear this, If I get a wide edge, I don't care. If I don't have a wide edge, I don't care. So I'm not worried about how I tear it. I just want the pale color in the back. Okay. And then this one, I need to come over this way a little bit. Tearing, so the hill's on the opposite. in the middle. Like that. And I think this one needs to come down a little bit more. There. There. Let's see. Something like that, and maybe something like, hmm, no, I want this one to come down more. Pull that up. Well, I can't. I'm all shaky, which doesn't really make sense. Mm, I haven't had a lot of coffee, just one cup, not a huge cup. Okay, now let's see how this does. Hmm, yeah, I don't like that. Something like that, maybe. I need to coat those ends, paint those ends just a little bit. Let's see. And this one I can tear. There. I'm still fiddling with this. I put that there. How do I want this? I want it sort of like that, do I? Or do I want it to cover that a little bit? That's good. I kind of like that. Kind of like not to shake. Yeah, I need to paint a little bit of that, I think. Or just stick a little piece of it there, since I have a little piece, yeah. Hmm. Let's 
see. Nobody said this was an exact science. Okay, so I will set it up something like that. Now I have, I had, I had, there we go, uh, some washi tape right there that I was thinking about putting along the bottom edge. So, let's work this out space wise. So if I put that one there, I will have, yes, I think that'll be enough room. I'll make it enough room. So this one is going to go right there. I'm going to go ahead and glue that one down. And I'm using some matte medium. estimating this is where I had it. And it's sticking to my fingers. Alright. Now. There we go. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. That was interesting. Okay. Now rolling. And as a result of that little excursion, I need to wipe that off. Everything's falling. I had not, oh, I gouged it. Okay, no, I didn't. There we go. If I hadn't been filming, that wouldn't have happened. Things like that only happen when you film. There we go. Much better. Okay. I brighted it down because I want to make sure that I don't get air bubbles in it, and that really is one of the best ways to make sure. So now that I have that, and this is where I sort of don't know what I want to do with the tree. If I put, if I put a layer of wax over this, I'm going to have to stamp the tree and float it in. And I'm not sure that I want to do that because I didn't like the way the, um, the tree showed on the tissue paper. I could stamp it right here. I think I will. I think I'll stamp it right there. And then, because I haven't tried that yet, and we know that I've done a bazillion, actually 372, or was it 472? different versions of this. <laughs> this reminds me of the last time I tried to work on this. Okay. Let's just... And it moved. Sure did. It moved on me. And I will not be able to recover from that. Okay, there we go. Tree is on there. 
and maybe I didn't get it to move too much. So let me dry it really well. Now here is really and truly sincerely hoping, well maybe I should put the second layer down before I get too carried away. The second layer, yeah I don't want too many layers on here so I am going to put the second layer on. Glue it. I need to brighter again. Let's hope I don't get the whole world with me. There. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Make sure that's good. Okay. Now, for kicks and giggles, I am going to use this tinted medium in the sky area and we'll see what happens. I won't have enough to do every area. Wow, I'm feeling like I'm going to need Yet another version of this. Okay. Now, clear. Medium. The lower layer. I'm going to put two coats on. And then do what I call a hard fuse. And pretty much I'm going to liquefy what I have. And get it smooth. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm going to use my He-Man Woman Hater gun. On low.
Okay. Really and truly, when you're working with encaustic, the, the whole heart of encaustic is basically about um, fusing, fusing the wax. And to me, I think that is probably the trickiest part of it. So when I do my first two layers, I like to really fuse the wax pretty hard. And that's kind of liquefy. And you saw me moving the color around. I added the color to the sky. And I'm going to do more with the sky. But I added color to it. And then I moved it around. And I got a nice smooth surface down here. Not in the sky where I moved everything around. In fact, I think I'm going to move it around just a little bit more. Exactly what I want. So I'm going to add some and see what I get. So bear with me. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. There. That's more like it. Now, I need to let this set just a little bit. I don't want that line. Okay. There. Now, I want to let this set up just a little bit. And I've got a little bit of the violet in the top. I'm going to put um, some color on and streak it across for a sky. I will add this and the washi tape at the bottom. Then fuse that and probably, and I want to move, when I streak the sky, I want to move it around just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. And I want to put in, after that, my quote. So then hopefully this will be the last version of this particular one that I need to deal with. And I'm going to cheat and hold this up in front of a fan because I'm not overly patient. And I need it to set up just a little bit. It would be ideal if I had a little handheld fan that I could just... I need to get that. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Like just a little desk fan that you could move around and put right in front. Okay. So that has set up a little bit. And you can see I don't want to do too much. Why well, I don't want too many layers because I don't want to obscure the tree. And I did forget to add this in, didn't I? Hmm. So I'm going to put that one in there. Now for this, because the wax is already there, I'm going to be burnishing this in. So the wax is cooled off a little bit, but still kind of warm. So I can burnish this in. I'm trying to make sure that I don't get any air bubbles. And that's why we're burnishing. Here we go. Okay, 
actually now I'm just going to put a little bit of wax right over that. Okay. And then this. And burnish that in. How I'm doing. I was thinking maybe that was an air bubble, it's not. That's the wax. Okay. And then finally, oh come on, this has an end. There. That's not even. So I will try again. I can't tell if that's even. Okay. And now, a little bit of medium. and then sealing the edges. Okay. And now, I forgot the one thing that I needed, and that's a pair of gloves. because I'm going to take my um, pigment stick and do a little work on the sky. Uh -huh. 
to not the easiest to get on. Okay, so pigment stick. Here we go. I'm just gonna kind of now. I am sort of going over the tree just a little bit and streaking it as if it were streaks in the sky, but I don't want it too low, so I'm going to clear some of this off. Now, whoops, let's put this back in the tube. For the moment, and I'm going to, this is going to smear it just a little. Put a light coat over it. Confuse. Now I'm going to try to move it around a little bit when I fuse. That is essentially fused, but I'm going to move it a little bit with the heat gun. There. See how it's moving just a little in certain strength. There. I just didn't want it to look, and I'm going to fix this, right. or maybe I'm not. I just didn't want it to look too uniform, so I moved it around. The danger with that is that you can get those spots. And I'm trying to decide if I can live with that. Yeah, actually I can live with that where it is because of what I'm going to do next. And that is... I need to put my little quote in, and I need to burnish that down. Mm -hmm. That's good. I put a little bit of wax over this. Now, I'm probably going to scrape back some of the wax, which is a beautiful thing that you can do when you're working with encaustic. Okay, that's in there. Let's fuse it. There we go. Okay. Now, I moved some of the wax a little bit. Um, so that the quote would show through a little better. And then I moved some of the, the sky around and away from the tree because I felt like we were covering up the tree. So I want to smooth out down here. And kind of 
all over. All right. So I did another fairly strong fuse, and I'm making sure that this is all good. And it is. I should keep my fingers out of it, though. I will let this sit for just a minute. Actually, I won't. I'm going to take it and probably trim just a little bit if I can that washi tape off. And I like that sky right there. have to go in and seal the edges. Trimming. And because I did that, I do need to go through and seal these edges. But I'm going to remove some of the excess wax. This is a clay tool. of excess wax. That's cool. There we go. Okay. And actually I'm going to save. I might save that. That's some of that tinted wax. Okay. So I'm going to go through, seal the edges. Forming the wax, smoothing it down on the edge. Same thing over here. All right. And now for the last step. I'm going to take my pigment stick and go around. And this is why I was not so worried about this spot at the bottom. Sometimes negative space works well. Okay. Now Just go around, kind of giving it a little bit of a frame by doing that and just swirling the pigment stick around. I'm going to let that dry and I think I'm happy with this one. So the sky is cool, it's doing nice things over here, it's not obscuring and I've got, let's see if I can get that, there we go little bit of pigment there I needed to get off but my tree looks good it's nice and clear my sky is interesting I have my trees and then I have the quote which is easily readable by Picasso I have the washi tape down here I might smear a little bit of that off hmm let's see I don't use my fingertips. 
think come through tidy that up just a little bit yeah there we go and there we go mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't think I'll have to do another version. I think this will be good. The one thing that I might do is after this paint has dried just a little bit around the edges, I might go through and darken it just a bit, or I may not. But I am happy with that version, finally. Thank you for joining me with me as I played around with Encaustic. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.